Um, so first of all, to start with being chosen to represent Portland State this event, what's that like, and what's this event like for your support? It's obviously an honor to uh, represent the team and uh, be chosen and uh, to to uh, kind of portray, to kind of have that accomplishment that I portray myself in a way that they feel comfortable and having me represent the university and the team and my family and everything. So um, yeah, it's an honor to be here. It's, I'm sure these guys feel honored to be here. So. Coach Warren and I talked to Chris and just about how crucial your leadership was last year. How were you able to embrace that such a big role in that aspect yeah. as a transfer? Yes, yeah, so that's that was part of the biggest, and the hardest part of coming into last year was you know, being a quarterback. You have to be a vocal leader, and um, you know, being the new guy, you almost have to shut up. So it's right. like, and so you have to find that balance between being the new guy and knowing your place, but also trying to develop a leadership role. So I think being voted the captain early on last season was one of my, if not my biggest accolade football wise ever you know and I've received some, some cool awards and everything but nothing was meant more to me than that than my team viewed me in that light and uh, so that was awesome I hope that I can build off of that this year and that I can uh, develop a, more of a positive leadership role and uh, we can lead our team to another successful year um, how, how essential is that being for you this offseason just given all the tragedies that you have experienced yeah you know um, we've had to go through a lot of things that I, I dare say that no other team has gone through between two of our teammates passing away and then another teammate having a child pass away recently. And uh, so our, our family's experienced some, some tragedies and uh, we're building up there, you know. Uh, we're, we're trying to control what we can control at this moment. And uh, we're trying to really, really forge our season to meet the meet the expectations that those guys had for our team. Those, those guys had some of the highest expectations for our team. And uh, so we, we talked about how you know, uh, fundraisers or something uh, to that extent are easily forgotten in the, in the future. But you know, for some reason, sports are remembered. You know, uh, seasons and games are remembered. And they're kind of written down in history. Books. And so that's kind of our goal this year. Is we, we want them to be remembered. And, uh, we know that that's only going to come through winning. So we fully intend to win this year, and we have a lot to play on, a lot to play for. Um, we have a, a lot to fight for and a lot of motivation. It's a shock to win because you're best win, but it's going to come back around to give us. It's completely miserable. It's one of those things where the first time it happens, I can't believe it. The second time, it's not a win. Uh, um, you know, it's really opened our eyes and from, yeah, broadened our perspective and we really enjoy our time with one another because we've had it happen twice before where you say, all right, man, I'll see you tomorrow and uh, with your good friends and, and you don't. And so um, it's, it's the closest team I've ever been a part of because of that. And uh, we're we'll finding ways to you know, make the most of our time together and to really enjoy each other's company because you really do never know. And there really is a lot more uh, to the relationships we have than football. And we, it's helped us realize that. Um, obviously, I wish we could realize it under different circumstances or achieve that under certain circumstances. But um, right now, we have a camaraderie that I think can't be compared to any team on the whole country. Yeah. Obviously, the tragedies playing the camaraderie, but a lot of the good things from last year helped that as well. So, uh, just the, the culture could have gone still, and then being able to translate that culture into success right away. You know, that helped you know, like building the camaraderie. Well, you look at it, and the year, I mean, the year we were three and nine, there's multiple games, of, I dare say five, that, that are lost by less than a touchdown. And, uh, you know, and so this this last year, there's several games where we won by just a touchdown. And, you know, they say football is a game of inches, and you know, with Coach, with Coach Barnum, that's that extra inch for us. You know, you have a guy that you really want to go fight for, you have a guy that you really want to go to battle for. And uh, somebody that says, yeah, I need a little bit more out of you, and you're like, okay, I'll, I'll find it for you. Like, I don't have anything 
it left to me, but I'll find it for you. And so I think that was, you know, we got a couple balls that bounced our way this year, but the year before we did it, it wasn't that we weren't capable or we weren't, you know, athletic enough, or we didn't have that, we didn't have the athletes to do it. Um, we were very athletic. We, were, we always had good players. And, uh, you know, last year, it's just a couple things, you know, it's, it's very detail-oriented. And uh, those few details kind of fell into place for us. And we were able to capitalize on them and just take a 3-9 season and turn it into a 9-3 one. Some of the uh, culture changes that he instituted, I know a lot of those trickled into the yeah. long yeah. so yeah. yeah. so yeah. yeah. so What was those, some of those experiences, like, especially like, going to Cal Poly yeah. and back? And, I mean, you guys were on the bus a lot. <laughs> yeah, well, I've recently invested in a portable DVD player. <laughs> so, uh, you know, yeah, we enjoy our time on the Barney bus, that's what we call it. And uh, it ended up being fun trips, you know? And so we're making the most of it. Those are memories that, that are fun and you only really have. They're not so much fun during that 16 hour bus ride, but, you know, after words you look back on you're like yeah, that was kind of fun and like, I wouldn't do it again but like <laughs> until we have to do it again this year but um, yeah so it's been a lot of fun and I think that's part of who we are we're a really blue collar team where you know we're it's kind of ironic that they gave us all this new fancy equipment and like, new fancy stuff because that's not us like, we're the guys that just hand us whatever and we'll play it um, but so uh, yeah that's kind of our, our identity we like to build off of it and we, we enjoy those trips you're 200 coach Martin, how do you avoid a letdown after all the success you guys have? I think that comes from not associating ourselves so much with the last year. You know, everyone, every single question I'm getting is, how are you going to be the 2015 Vikings? You know, and we don't want to be the 2015 Portland City Vikings. You know, they were nine and three. They lost in the second round. Like, I don't care to be those guys. And uh, for for us, we want to be 2016 Portland City Vikings. We see a potential that that has a very high ceiling. And we fully expect to get back to where we were last year and to be further. And uh, so. I think that uh, we really want to capitalize on, um, you know, we're on being our own team this year. Uh, we have completely different players. We have a completely different squad, and we're going to experience success in different ways. We're going to experience failures in different ways. And it's going to be about finding out the best combination and uh, the best ways to uh, put ourselves in positions to be successful again because every single game is going to be a chess match. Every single uh, season is a different story where you have to tweak different things because you you never have the same team twice. And so um, we're not focused on being the last year's Vikings. You know, they, we weren't happy with the results that we ended up last year. Uh, we're focused on being this year, and we fully expect to succeed and to uh, take it the next step further. Well, see for you, what will be the key to your guys' success this fall? So uh, I think the key to our success this fall is um, it's going to be the experience that we have now. Especially for myself, um, from an offensive standpoint, our offense was very limited last year because of my limited experience in our offense. And you know, even every single game, every single week, I was learning new things and trying to pick up things. And now I have a full grasp of the offense. Our whole offense feels very comfortable. We had several backup quarterbacks last year that switched positions, and we're still trying to get used to new positions. And now we have guys like Harris Pitts and Josh Kraft who are backup quarterbacks who are now some of our best skill positions. And so. Um, those things and just kind of the off season that we've had in kind of developing our chemistry and um, kind of getting just accustomed to the new positions that we're playing and the, the new type of style that we're playing and um, all of our roles. That's going to be the biggest part I think that's going to attribute to our success is how much more experience that we have. And now we've kind of been on that big stage and uh, we're going to know what to expect to get there. And now it's not going to be a celebration when we get there. It's going to be like, yeah, we're here. I already, I already knew that. So um, I think that's going to be the biggest part of our, our success next year.